Ever wonder why you can remember the name of your first pet, but you can't seem to recall more than a couple of details from an article you read last week? The answer lies in the way we learn. Learning takes place when we move information from the short-term storage area of your brain to the long-term storage area. But to really make something stick, we have to actively do something with the information. Write it down, talk about it, visualize it, before we forget it. So to learn, kids need good strategies for actively processing information. And it's likely that by the time kids get out of high school, they've got one or two strategies that they use to help them learn something. Some kids will talk about the information to make it stick. There's this word in a book that I read a while ago. I didn't know what it meant. Uh, Talking can help because kids can process the information out loud and go a little deeper with their understanding. Oh, I don't know that word either. I think I'm just going to Google it. Other kids will tell you that they can't remember anything if they don't write it down. I think it'd help me if I wrote it down so I don't forget what it means. Writing is another active way of processing. They might make notes, annotations, or rewrite and summarize what they read. Oh yeah, it says right here an animal that can eat both meat and vegetables. Still others need to visualize information to make it stick. Making flashcards and categorizing them can give kids a different way to remember and understand the words. Secondary consumers and tertiary consumers are classified as carnivores. What strategy they use will depend on the kid in the situation. But most kids will have a favorite. My favorite way of learning is I take notes. To go online and uh, research more, like go beyond what, what's given to me. Discussing it with other people, because I'm not much of a reader, or like, I don't like writing things down, it doesn't help me that much. It's important that students have a range of learning strategies, because different strategies work better with different types of information. One of the most important things your student is learning right now is how their brain works and what works best for them. And sometimes it's best to give them lots of different tools so that they can try them all out. So next time you see your child hard at work learning something, encourage your student to discuss, draw, visualize, or rewrite what they've learned. Remind them that they have to do something with that information to get it to stick. Ooh, okay. Decomposers can come over here. And so they take those nutrients and start the cycle all over. So does your child have a learning strategy? Do they talk and verbally process things? Do they need to write things down? Or do they visualize information? Now's the moment to find out.